myself Soumya, Assistant Professor in CSA ML Department, MLR Institute of Technology. In this video, we are going to discuss about EVM, Ethereum Virtual Mission. So, coming to the overview of this presentation, this presentation covers what is, I mean, introduction to Ethereum, what is EVM, what are the key properties of EVM, so what is gas and gas fees, state transition and security measures. So, introduction to Ethereum. What is Ethereum? So, Ethereum is a decentralized blockchain platform. So, that enables the execution of smart contracts. So, in the previous video, we have discussed about Ethereum construction. So, Ethereum is nothing but it's a platform, decentralized platform where we can execute the smart contracts. So, smart contract is nothing but it is a self-executing code. Whenever a certain condition is true, automatically the code will be executed. So, smart contracts are self-executing contracts. So, Ethereum provides a programmable blockchain allowing developers to build decentralized applications with various use cases. So, it is I mean like uh, what in the blockchain, in the block, I mean in the blockchain we have different blocks. So, in the block we have some code, right? So, that code will be executed in the Ethereum platform here. So, what is EVM? EVM is nothing but Ethereum virtual machine. It is a runtime environment where the smart contract will be executed right so it is a deterministic and curing incomplete virtual mission so what's the meaning of it it is a deterministic and curing complete virtual mission that means so whatever we mentioned in the algorithm algorithmically whatever we are mentioning or theoretically whatever we are mentioning that is possible practically also using the ethereum so the meaning of this deterministic and turing complete virtual machine in the sense it operates predictably and can compute anything that can be computed algorithmically so whatever you are doing practic i mean like theoretically or algorithmically the same thing can also be done practically using this evm so what are the creep key properties of EV. The first one is deterministic in nature. So, given the same input, the EVM will always produce the same output. If I give the same inputs for any number of times, every time I will get the same output. It is not generating the random output. Coming to the Turing completeness. So, EVM can theoretically compute anything that can be computed algorithmically. right? So, whatever you are calculating algorithmically or theoretically, the same thing can be or can also be achieved using the smart contract also. So, bytecode execution. Smart contracts and Ethereum are compiled into bytecode which is executed by EVM instruction by instruction. right? So, bytecode execution in the sense in the inside the EVM directly we are not executing the solidity code. So, the solidity code will be given to the solidity compiler which will generate the bytecode and that bytecode will be given to the EVM, Ethereum virtual machine. So, there it will execute the bytecode to get the smart contract output. So, gas and gas piece. So, gas is the unit used to measure the computational effort required to execute the operations on the EVM. So, gas is nothing but it is a unit of measure to compute, I mean to measure the computational effort. So, how much computations, how many computations have been done. So, for this how much amount is needed. So, all those things we are measuring in terms of gas and coming to the gas fees are paid by the sender of the transaction to compensate network participants for the computational resources consumed. So, here the gas fee is paid by the sender as we discussed in the last video. So, gas fee is nothing but the fee paid by the sender to execute the transaction. So, this amount will be used to reward the nodes whoever validate the blocks. So, gas fee ensures network security and efficiency by discouraging spam and resource intensive operations. If you are asking for the gas fee, no sender will send the spam messages, right? Sp spam transactions. So, here we can mention, we can ensure the security as well as we can discourage the spam transactions by um, mandating this gas fees. So, state transition. As we discussed in the last video, so after completing the transaction, the account balances will be updated. That means the uh, transition will be moved from one state to other state. So, that means before transaction, what is the state and after the transaction, what is the state? So, this is called state transaction, state transition. So, the EVM will also perform the state, state transition after completing the smart contract execution. So, security measures. So, the EVM enforces security measures to, preve to prevent malicious behavior such as infinite loops or unauthorized data access in smart contracts. So, uh, I mean the program may go into infinite loop or we have some uh, uh, integer overflow or under flow conditions in the program or we may get uh, some unauthorized data access in the program. So, to overcome all these problems, EVM will provide some 
security measure evm ensures some security measures while running the smart contracts so that is about evm this is a most uh, similar to the previous video in the uh, evm construction which so here so these topics are most similar to the previous topic i mean previous video so in this video we we are we have discussed about what is evm virtual machine evm virtual machine ethereum virtual machine and what are the properties of ethereum virtual machine what is gas and gas phase what do you mean by state transition and what are the different security measures taken by this evm thank you